Are you tired of wasting all of your batteries when you're constantly working at your bench and could be using wall power? Well, I think it's time for you to build an adjustable voltage regulator like this one. It's easy to make and it runs on wall power. You can adjust your voltage as much as you want. Here's how to make it. Alright, for this project you'll need a DC power jack, female type, to fit your DC 24 volt power supply. Make sure you're using 24 volts because if you use different voltage ratings you're going to need some different components. And they don't differ too much, but the schematic is a little bit different. Um, a 2200 microfarad capacitor rated at 35 volts, a 0.22 microfarad capacitor, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, and a 1 microfarad capacitor rated at 50 volts. Um, your LM317 adjustable voltage regulator with the heat sink, this is the most important component. You're going to want the heat sink because when you're using high voltages, it does get pretty hot. Um, two 1K resistors. The original schematic calls for a 220 ohm, but I changed it to a 1K so it would withstand the heat a little bit better. Um, a potentiometer. The schematic says 5K, but you can use anything from 5 to 20K, just trying it to go above 20. Um, make sure it is heavy duty and it will withstand some heat. And a f this is optional, but I'm using a fine tuned pot at 1K. This is a 15 turn. Um, it just allows you to adjust your voltage down to like the into the tenth amounts. Um, also, a prototyping board to solder your stuff on if you want to make everything neat, and a project enclosure. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do after you get all your parts is to lay it out on your board. Um, I'm not using a prototyping board, I changed my mind. I don't really like using them, they get messy and they're hard to troubleshoot, so I actually went ahead and designed a PCB board as you can see here for it. It's pretty easy to do if you've never done it. I use this free software I have. Um, just lay out your parts, try to make sure everything's close together and that you don't waste a lot of room. and be careful and just get ready to solder. So I finally finished soldering and troubleshooting. I had a couple errors. I even burned out one of my voltage regulators. A um, few things I'd like to point out before I hook it up to the multimeter is that I added a switch. You're probably going to want a switch, but you don't really need one because you could just easily plug in and unplug the DC jack when you're done using it. Um, I soldered the switch from the positive input of the schematic to the DC de jack and that's just, here's the beginning of the schematic, I just put it right here before it even touches any part of the circuit, so the switch and then DC jack. I also have a fuse and it just goes straight from the positive input to your actual input which is going to be your load. Um, I'm using a 25 milliamp fuse because my power supply says that the output amps are 25 milliamps and it's safe to have a fuse because it's a lot easier to just replace this fuse inside of this little fuse cartridge than it is to go buy a new voltage regulator and solder it in. Also uh, my fine tuning pot right here is soldered into the circuit between ground and the 1K resistor that's connected to your variable potentiometer. So here's my main poten potentiometer, here's my 1K, and then between ground and the 1K will be the pot. So if you want to add one of those, go for it. They're great for um, getting the voltage precise. Um, I'm going to show you the rating. My minimum is at 3.36 and that's just how it works out with all the resistors and stuff. You can tweak this if you change the, some of the resistor values. Um, so here I am just turning it a little bit. You can see it's going up. I'm just turning it slowly. Here's the 9, oh, nine volt mark. And it's hard to get it exactly at 9 volts, but that's why I have the this pot right here that I'm not going to turn because it uses a screwdriver but goes all the way up to 29.6 volts um, I guess my power supply light a little bit and it's not a 24 volt but it's a 30 um, now get ready to put it in the housing 
Alright, so it's finally time to assemble the voltage regulator, and I'm going to start that by drilling all the necessary holes first. Here are my pre-drilled holes. I uh, put masking tape on first and then marked where I want the hole, just so it looked a little nicer. And now it's time to take the masking tape off and fully assemble it. Here's the voltage regulator before I close it up. I have everything screwed in or glued in if it doesn't take screws. I mounted the PCB board in with these spacers so that it's not touching the metal so nothing shorts. And to the both the outputs, I mounted um, a audio jack, the 1 fourth inch type. So I'll just be able to plug this thing in for getting voltage because I couldn't just screw two screws in because then it would make a short circuit. So here's the finished product. I assembled everything and I put some labels on tune, minimum, max, out, on, off, and in. And I added this knob right here. It turns from minimum to maximum. That's my voltage regulator.